Hello, I'm Barbara Jackson, Director of Leisure Services for the City of Las Vegas, Nevada, and I have the honor today to introduce a legend in his own time. On behalf of the American Academy for Parks and Rec Administration, um, the Park and Recreation legend, Charles Jordan. Welcome, Charles. Congratulations. Congratulations. My father was a big environmentalist, so although there was a lot of community service that he would do uh, around the community, the one that was most memorable for him were ones that where most of the community was involved. So for example, one day we decided to plant a tree, um, a plum tree within the neighborhood, and almost every child in the neighborhood came to plant this tree. And he taught us so much around what it means if we plant a tree today, that how every summer we could eat plums and what the tree would mean to the environment, to the city, and also to the community. At the end of the day, we probably had around 15 children along with their uh, family members around this tree that we were planting. So it was the educational piece, it was the bonding piece, and knowing that we we're making our community uh, and environment a better place made it quite memorable. My father's service to community in four words would probably be a better tomorrow. The other idea that my father often shared is the reason why we get involved in our communities is when we have stronger communities, we have stronger families. When we have stronger families, we have stronger educational institutions, stronger churches, as well as a stronger um, uh, economic environment. So the more that we can chip into our own community, the more that we can better the lives of those who live within the community. I think the most impactful community service that my father was involved in would be the environmental movement. He brought a movement into a community that wasn't talking about the environment. Usually uh, in the early 80s and 90s, when it came to environmental issues, it was reserved for um, different communities, more of a white Anglo-Saxon community that spoke around environmental issues. But he made it relevant to minorities and why it was important, why it's important to have clean air, because clean air makes for clean water, and clean water makes for healthy families. He helped connect it all together and make it make a little more sense and make it something that people would buy into and understand because he believed that everything was connected to everything else. So if you took care of the air, you really did take care of the water. When you took care of the water, you really took care of families. So when you took care of families, you took care of communities because we're all connected. And that's one of the greatest things that I thought that he brought to the environmental movement and one of the greatest things that he brought into the community. We need to get busy in bringing about the change mm -hmm. to put parks and recreation in a position of respect mm -hmm. and to be needed and not mm -hmm. just nice to have. Mm -hmm. And we can do it. Mm -hmm. now, now is, is the time. The time.